weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We've had a pretty decent afternoon. Rain stays away. Clouds are socking us in, but actually temperatures did get that opportunity with those south and southeast winds to really bump up into the lower 70s. Right now we're settling in the upper 60s, lower 70s across the board here. You can see not too much wind at the moment, and we're even going to calm down these winds overnight tonight. Right now, most of us at 72 degrees, uh, Muscle Shoals at 74, but in all, it's been a very quiet day. We are cracking some rain, mainly across portions of East Texas, in North Louisiana, not expecting this to make it as far into our viewing area, but it will keep these clouds around as we head into the overnight. For now, we're quiet on our Way 31 uh, storm tracker, early warning radar network, and we could see the opportunity for some rain as we get closer to the weekend. But for tonight, it'll be a great evening to get out and take a stroll. We'll spend most of the evening in the 60s again with those overcast skies. And by about 9 o'clock, we'll start to slide into the 50s, but we're not going down too low. We'll hang out in the middle to low 50s for our overnight lows. The city center could reach close to 52 degrees by dawn, uh, just as you will see a little bit of patchy fog, though, as you step out early in the morning. So here's what you need to know going forward. It will be a cool night tonight, especially if you're out early in the morning. And then tomorrow, the patchy fog will mix out fairly quickly, and then we'll see the clouds move on, the sun come out, and temperatures warming up. Temperatures above average for the next several days, but rain will return to our forecast once we get closer to the weekend. Here's what you need to know for tomorrow morning. Although the fog could be problematic for the morning commute, by about 8, 9 o'clock that fog will be out of here and we will see those temperatures hitting the middle range 70s. Plenty of sunshine across the board, cooling down a little bit in the evening hours, but our trend over the next several days is going to be having warmer nights and warmer days. We are now at the peak of our fall foliage viewing. Right now, November 1st, you can view the foliage across the entire state, but as we move on into next week, your better opportunities will be further across the southern portions of the state as the northern tier will then become past peak. By November 8th and 15th, it is all over and we are headed into our winter season. Hourly forecast model keeps a few of these clouds, but a little sunshine tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Here comes that sunshine and a quiet night Wednesday night into Thursday. No rain opportunities in our Thursday and Friday forecast, but you may see a few passing clouds from time to time as we move into Saturday. Overall, the morning will be a quiet one, uneventful, and a pretty nice one to have that lunch break outdoors tomorrow as we push into the middle 70s. But check out the upper 70s both Thursday and Friday, and the morning lows will get a little bit more mild. Saturday and Sunday, not a washout. I think the second half of the day on Saturday features rain and early on Sunday morning. A warning about your health. Next and all new at four, we take a look at the potential danger of cannabis use.